Hey you folks, Prepper Princess. So this is a requested video on uh, cheap food that you can make. I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about steak. Now, I now shop exclusively almost at Winco. Um, however, yeah, so I, I apologize, but okay. Winco has pretty much the best prices you're gonna find anywhere. Wherever I used to find sale prices, that is pretty much the regular price at Winco. If you're going to be buying steak or meat, the cheapest meats that you can get are tri-tip, which are amazing for barbecues, or London broil, which is really good for stir fries, beef jerky. Um, it's not really good for like a full, like to eat a steak. And when people think of steak, they think that all you're eating is just a big slab of steak. And that's not always the way you can eat it. Um, when it comes to London broil, you can make fajitas, uh, quesadillas, like a whole bunch of really great stuff as long as you slice it really thin. What I'm doing today is I'm making tri-tip and it's $2.98 a pound, which is my buy price, but it seems to always be the price. Right there, $2.98 a pound. And I'm going to be cutting this up and making also a very cheap item. The good old potatoes. So potatoes, the cheapest is always russet. I like golden. I'm going to pay a little bit more than I would for russet potatoes, but I really don't mind because they're almost always less than a dollar a pound. These were 88 cents a pound at Winco. Also, another great thing is even if it's not the Winco brand, green beans. My, this one's no salt added, but the can of green beans was 47 cents. So when you're thinking of a $10 tri-tip, this one's $10.64, well, we're not going to eat the whole $10 worth. We're going to be eating about a dollar's worth or maybe $2 worth. I'm going to be barbecuing a lot more because I'm going to be doing a lot of leftovers. But, you know, 10 bucks for a giant slab of meat this size is a really, really great price. And what I like to do when I'm barbecuing, there's two methods that you can do. There's the pyramid method or the method where you leave the, the charcoal, sort of smother it all around evenly. Today I'm doing a pyramid because I'm gonna be putting my green beans in the center and then putting my steaks on the outside of the green beans so that it all cooks evenly. The potatoes take a lot longer if you do them uh, via barbecue, so I'm not gonna be doing it that way. And green beans, I found this out from a coworker of mine that uh, green beans are amazing if you add bacon. And, and she was right. They are absolutely amazing when you add bacon. I do seem to be having a problem with my stove. You know, as you know, I'll be moving to Arizona and this entire kitchen is going to be remodeled. But my stove, I think, this is the only burner that works correctly at this point. The other ones are just high or off. And that's the only options I have. So I'm doing my best to use only this burner. And uh, it's, it can be difficult because I'm not sure, I think this burner might be going out too, the temperature, temperature gauge, because it seems to be always like boiling or not on at all. But one thing about tri-tip is it's very fatty on one side. So of course they put the nice red part on the top to make it nice and, and beautiful and presentable for you. But this is what the other side looks like. This is all fat. And if you want to take the fat off, it does kind of like just come off if you pull it. I know that's kind of gross, but if you pull it, it does just kind of come off. But I like to do mine with the fat because it brings out the flavor. And another tip I've got for you guys is if you have barbecue sauce, most people kind of just like use a lot of barbecue sauce. Well, I put mine in this little thing and I use this little brush and I just pretty much brush it and I let my steak get the most flavor from the smoking of the charcoals. So I find that that really brings out the flavor. And this is a lot of steak, I might have to save some. But I'll go ahead and probably say that this meal costs maybe $3. Now, one of the things about the Dave Ramsey method, saving money, you know, you only go to a restaurant you only go to a restaurant if you're working there. Uh, I get that. And one of the things that, well, first of all, I like my food better than restaurants. And I don't like getting horrible service and sort of being forced to tip anyway, because that's just the way it is. But you can really truly have, you can have your steak and eat it too. 
um, as long as you make it yourself. That's the only difference. So this $3 meal, gosh, who knows how much this would cost at a restaurant, you know, a potato and a steak and some vegetables, probably $25, $30. And we're looking at about $3. We don't have to pay the waiters and waiters. We don't have to pay the owner of the restaurant for their electricity and their frying machine and their operations and their taxes. We don't have to pay them for that. We, if we do it ourselves, we can get everything that we want uh, for about a tenth of the cost. So in my opinion, cooking at home is the fastest way that you can save money, even if you're not good at it. You know, take a class, learn. Even if you pay money, you pay 50 bucks, $100 for a class, you're gonna make that up in two weeks, <laughs> you know? And I didn't used to cook very well, but I cook pretty darn good now, I, I have to admit it. So, um, it looks like I'm gonna be making a lot of steaks here, seven of them, but I think that this is gonna be be like, I don't know, $10 divided by seven, you guys do the math on the steak. And then 42 cents for the green beans and maybe 25 cents for the potato because they're 88 cents a pound and this is just one potato. But this is gonna be pretty darn amazing and you just add whatever spices you want to that and it's delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these steaks on the barbecue because I think my coals are ready. So it's gonna be dark out there just so you guys know but let's go ahead and get to it. I'm back so I guess this is a let's see how much pepper princess can stuff her face I've got my potato my green bean and look at this beautiful steak look how amazing this turned out this tri-tip I personally like mine rare to medium rare and this beautiful beautifully amazing so 
I may have nibbled on the potatoes a little bit as they were cooking, so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's, let's give this a bite. So good. Let's try a potato. Perfectly seasoned. I just used the garlic, the lemon pepper and, um, or sorry, lemon, no, it was lemon pepper and salt and I put on some garlic powder afterwards, but makes it amazing when you saute it. And usually I would put it on a napkin to get the extra grease out, but I didn't have a nap, any napkins. So I used a strainer just to make sure you get rid of the ex excess grease or I do anyway. You can keep all the grease you want. I'm not a fitness channel. I'm not a health channel. I'm a money saving prepping channel. Mm, so good. I'm trying to think what, what I can talk about. One of my subscribers had me check out this channel. Amber Lynn Reed, who does mukbang mukbang I don't know how you say it it's where you pretty much eat all you can eat and she weighs like 600 pounds and it's a diet channel I don't I, I don't understand and it was kind of hard to watch <laughs> so I just turned it off I so for the subscriber who said check out that channel that channel is not quite for me Usually I don't like to mix up my bites, but that bite of steak and potato was just amazing. I love golden potatoes. And I did find two, a whole two pieces of sausage, sausage in my fridge. And I know I said earlier to add bacon to the green beans. I, I added sausage and I left all of it, all of the sausage in my cast iron pan. So I guess I'll go get some later. So one of the things that has been dawning on me recently, I used to make $1 meals and I've gone through a lot of freeze dried food and I've noticed that there's not a lot of like freeze dried fruits, vegetables, and that's just dust, fruits, vegetables, and like meat. Everything is like carb. So <clears throat> pancake mix, muffin mix, um, the rice, that's a lot of carbs. And, and it, it really makes me balloon up quite a bit. So um, I need to, when I, when I move, of course, I'm going to keep my current preps. But I think I need to go through my prep storage and see if there's something a little less carby that I can just add so that um, I'll have, you know, less carbs in case something happens. Rocky is patiently sitting right behind the camera, hoping I drop something. Oh, don't forget to, if you want to see more personal videos of things that go on in my personal life, check out my Patreon page. Also, my website, PrepperPrincess.com, uh, sells all the things that I'm affiliated with. Uh, some things I'm not, but the Sun Oven, the Apex Energy Kodiak. I'm not a sponsor of Champion, but I really like their generator. And um, I have one, and that's on there too, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, my own design t-shirts, mugs. All those things that you guys asked me for. Okay, we'll share, mister. Hold on. I know you want some. I know. Where's my boy? Right there. Oh, was that good? I think one of these days I'm going to make a whole... A whole video just on Rocky.
yeah, it's not Christmas yet while I'm filming this, but we're almost there and there's a line outside. One of my neighbors does a crazy light thing and there's everyone everywhere. Okay, so I obviously cannot talk and eat at the same time. I gave it my all, but I'm so boring just sitting here eating. So I'm gonna sign off for now and enjoy my dinner. Um, this is a really cheap meal, <clears throat> probably about $3. And it's pretty much the equivalent of what you would pay for 20 to $25 meal if you eat out. When you're saving money, you can do literally, you can have all the same stuff you had before if you do it yourself. So you got to learn how to cook, learn how to do your own oil changes, wash and wax your car, inflate your tire wheels, just anything that you can do yourself that's simple, learn to do it yourself and you're going to save yourself a ton of money. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. Are we playing now? Are we? You're so vicious. You're so vicious. I can't. Ow. I'm dying. Ow. Vicious attack dog. Vicious scary boy. Ah. Oh. So scary. So scary. Arr, arr. What? Arr. Oh.